Good morning, all my spooky friends, uh, all you Halloween enthusiasts, mask collectors, and monster lovers out there. It's time once again for Creepy Cheapies with Dr. Lady. I'm Johann Gamblepuddy, Devon Ausburn, Schwendenschlitz, Kras Krembon, Friediger Dangel, Dungel, Barstein, Von Neck, Thrasher, Epperbanger, Horowitz, Tickolensik, Grandinari, Speltinkel, Grandisch, Grubelmeier, Speltewasser, Kreschli, Symbol, Eisenbahn, Wagen, Guten Armen, Bitte, Eine Nürnberger, Bratwürstel, Gespertwitz, Schweinmarke, Nubel, Hunsfurt, Gumbarabo, Shannon, Docker, Klopsfleisch, Mittelrocker, Von Hauptkopf of Ulm, and today's mask is Corpse. Not just any corpse, but a very special corpse. This particular corpse was first available back in the uh, era of 1976 and 77. Wow, long time ago. Uh, from the folks at what was then Be Something Studios. Now, Be Something is still in business today, but today they're called Zagoni Studios. And they do make some of the same masks. But this one was so rare and so limited and available for such a short time back in the day. When I was a kid, I never even saw one in person. I only knew it existed because I had seen an old catalog insert from Morris Costumes that showed this strange square-faced corpse. And for that reason, you may have noticed the squaretude of him. He is also sometimes called the square corpse, okay? And sometimes they call him the blockhead corpse but not to his face, okay? Now, the square or blockhead corpse was sculpted by uh, a guy named Michael Sainz, who later went on to become a famous uh, comic book artist. This was one of his early uh, sculptural works, and it just, it's really distinctive. It's kind of, kind of uh, comic bookish already, and kind of uh, exaggerated in a Frankenstein-y, weird kind of way, and it's got what appears to be a spider web over the eye. Now, for whatever reason, this uh, version was soon supplanted and replaced in the uh, Be Something lineup with another corpse with a similar look who uh, turned out to be one of my favorite corpse masks of all time, that other one. And he also had uh, the spider web stuff over the eye. Here's that version, which came out a little bit later. This one uh, was the replacement from the late 70s uh, that came along and replaced this one. And the good news is they're both cool and creepy and they both have red hair which is really distinctive and dramatic and fun. Kind of strange and kind of fun. Kind of retro looking. You know, they both have the spider webs. And I know those don't actually look like literal spider webs but it's just sort of assumed that's what they are as spider webs because they look more like spider webs than they do anything else. I mean, you know, just look at them. Obviously, they don't look anything like bananas or go karts or uh, uh, cats, you know. So I would say, yeah, let's, let's refer to them as spider webs. That's all right. But that green spider web over the eye uh, is so cool. Now, these are about 60 bucks. They're available from the Trick or Treat Studios website, even though it's a, a B something slash Zagoni mask, Trick or Treat Studios uh, arranged the deal to do this collector edition reissue of the very rare and sought after by collectors of Be Something masks from back in the 70s. Very rare edition of the blockhead or square corpse. And he is the same sculpture. He's not even a re-sculpt. He's just what you would have gotten if you'd been able to get your hands on one in 1977, which is really cool. The version that you see here uh, has been covered in a, uh, in a segment of The Masked Fan Attic, also hosted by some loser, me, me, and uh, like I said, became one of my favorites of all time. The other good news today is that this one, as of this uh, broadcast, this one was also available from uh, some, some uh, dealers on uh, Amazon. And he was uh, even cheaper. He was more like 40 to 50 bucks. And it, it, they just did a limited edition uh, reissue of this version too, probably by popular demand, I guess. He's such a great one. Now, there are some differences between the current edition and the one from back in the late 70s, early 80s uh, of this guy in the paint. It's the same uh, design, but the paint is a little different. The green tended to be a little brighter back then. 
the zombie's face tended to be a little browner, a little warmer brown rather than this really uh, grayish brown. And the inside of his mouth was often red in the old version. And you can see he's, uh, he's, he's super dark brown, almost black in there now. And the, the green is a little more realistic color. But anyway, these guys make such a great pair, don't they? The Splotch-Eyed Zombie Brothers. And do you know where I got this one? The, the, uh, the Trick or Treat edition, Trick or Treat release of the Be Something Square Block Hickory. You know where I got one? No kidding. My wife got me one for Christmas. I think that was Christmas of 2017 when this came out. Or maybe 18. Maybe 18. No, 17. Yeah, Christmas of 2017, he says that's when it was. Yeah. All right, anyway, great square corpse and great not so square corpse. Both cool, both. Uh, ready to come and haunt your house and uh, boy all these years the, these guys have been looking through looking at the world through a spider web I guess that means he was the first guy to have website 